Hello everyone, Amud here from Retarget Common YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to do a Git call in Creative Framework and also we are going to learn so many basic concepts. So first, let me show you which API I am going to automate. So here we have one API and this API we can use to get the airline details using the ID. In this API, I need to pass the airline ID. So in the postman, I have copied the same API and I am passing the airline ID as 12. If I hit it, then it will give me the airline details of airline ID 12. I can pass 13, 14, whatever we want to pass, we can do. But one airline should be present in the database. So let's learn how to do a get request in Creative Framework. From this video, I am going to use the same project which we created in the last video using the Karate Quick Archetype. Inside the examples package, I'll create another package and this package name I can give airline. Now I need to add the feature file. So I'm following the same folder structure, whatever. So let me give the feature description and scenario description. So the first thing we know that we need to pass the URL. For that, I need to use keyword given and here you need to pass one keyword called URL and here you need to pass the API in single quotes or double quotes. Next part comes, which HTTP method it requires. So it requires get. So for that I need to use when and we have the keyword called method and here I need to pass get. And after hitting the request, we'll get the status code and response body. Let's focus on asserting the status code. For that we need to use then and we have the keyword called status and we need to pass what is expected. Let me run this feature file quickly and show you the output. So here you can see test case is passed and it is printing the URL and it is get all the request headers. Then it is printing the response code, response headers and we have the response body. Same thing it will be printing in the log also. Now let's see multiple small concept. In this API we have two parts generally. One is called base URL and then we have base path. Then you have some query params, you can have path params. So actually we can divide this URL into parts. Let me copy this scenario, paste it below and change the description. I want to pass only till .net and here we have keyword called path. Since I am continuing with the given one, I can use and or you can use given also. We have a keyword called path and here you can pass the remaining thing. You need to understand one basic concept here. Karate will concatenate URL and path using the slash. If you don't pass it here, then also it will put the slash for you. If you put it also, then also it will ignore it. So you no need to worry if you pass it by mistake. Let me use the another path and for this path, I will pass 13 and I can remove it from here. When I will run this scenario, it will create the URL by combining URL and all the path. Let me run this scenario. We can directly use this option and run. So here you can see that it has created the API properly. Suppose we need to pass some headers. Actually for this API, you don't need to pass it, but I will simply show you if you want to pass the request header, then how can we pass it? And again, I will put and only because if you want to pass the header, then you need to mention keyword called header. Then you need to mention the header name. So suppose I'm passing the X request ID and then you need to put the equal to and you need to pass the value. So I will pass list one, two, three. So let me run this scenario. So if you see the headers here, then we have X request ID and the value is list one, two, three. So here we know one way to verify the status code. When the API is hit, so the response status code is stored in a variable called response status. And if you want to check that response status is equal to 200 or 400, whatever you expecting means you want to do some assertion so we can use the match keyword so i can do the same thing like verifying the status code using match so i will use and then i can use match which is the keyword and i can use the variable called response status i am not defining it anywhere this is coming from karate framework so response status i am expecting that it should be 200 so i need to use double equal to and then 200 and we have another way instead of match we can use the assert keyword as well means same I can do with the asset keyword. So let me run this scenario. So you can see test case is passed. Let me explicitly fail it. I will just put 400 and then so here you can see test case is failed and here it is saying that 200 is not equal to 400. Suppose if you want to print some value explicitly in the console and same thing will go to log also. So for that we have one keyword called print. I will use and then use the keyword called print and suppose I want to print the response status. You can print some strings as well. Maybe before response status, I can use and print something in double quote like response status code is as below. Let me run this scenario and show you how it prints the values. But before that, let me change it to 200. So in the console, you can see 
it is printing response status code is as below and it is printing 200 and here it is giving like which keyword it has used here i have printed the normal string and the response status in two lines if you want to print in the same line then you can use the plus operator and you can give the response status in the same line let me run the scenario and show you the output so here you can see that it is printing the response status code is as below and 200 in the same line suppose i want to assert the complete json response for that i can use and match the response body of the api after performing the operation will be stored in a variable called response and that will be overwritten if another api is hit so always the latest response will be stored in that variable so if you want to use the response another steps in your feature file then you need to copy that in some another variable that we'll see later then here what i can say that i want to assert the complete response so i will use the match keyword i know that response will be stored in my response variable this is coming from karate we are not defining anywhere and then we can use the double equal and i will copy the response from here and i will paste it here let me run this scenario so you can see that assertion is passed if you pass this id after the name means whatever response we see in console id is coming at first but in the assertion what i am doing i am giving the name at first and id at second position so what do you think will it fail or it will simply pass so let me run and show you so you can see test cases passed because it is a key value pair and order doesn't matter we have one shortcut hand for response means we can use and instead of using the response keyword i can use dollar so both the statement 19 and 20 are same suppose i just want to verify the name so for that i can write the simple json path to the end match you can use response dot name double equal and you can keep this value or you can use and match dollar dot name double equal this value let me run this scenario so you can see assertion is passed just make one mistake and run the scenario again so here you can see that in assertion is failed it is expecting sri lankan airways but we got sri lankan airway only similarly the response headers are stored in a variable called response headers so let me print the response header first and show you how it is printed and use the print keyword and i want to print response headers which camel case so obviously we need to remember these type of keywords because we are not getting any auto sessions as of now let me run this scenario so in the console you can see it has printed the response headers in a json object and for each response header key we have the value inside array so actually it is a map of list so if you want to extract any value from the response so if you want to extract any value from response headers like suppose server or content type then we have some little different way here and print i need to use response headers and in the square bracket i need to pass the header name which will be content type this will return me this part so here i need to use index zero then only i will get this value let me run this scenario and show you the output so here you can see that it is printing the content type value from the response header we can directly assert the response headers value as well for that i need to use and obviously i need to use the keyword match and here i need to pass another keyword called header it means that we are matching the header then i need to pass header name equal equal let me copy the value and paste it since we are using the match header automatically it will take the header from the response header not from the request header let me run this scenario and show you the output so i made one mistake here i need to pass the expected value in double quotes or single quotes so you can see assertion is passed here we have two values in content type i just want to check it should contain application slash json i don't bother about this cat set for that we can use the contains keyword and let me copy this statement and instead of double equal here you can use contains and i can move this part let me run this and show you the output there is another way to get the response header as well for that i can use again and use the match only i want to assert the response header value we have a variable called karate then i need to use the response means whatever response we got from there i need to get the header and here you can pass the header name which will be content type and you can use the double equal or contains whatever you want you can use so this is the another way to extract the value from response headers so that's all in this video if you have any doubt Please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, 
प्लीज लाइक कमेंट सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर विद अदर्स थैंक यू एवरीवन